guys so in this video we will be learning how to sanitize this code before sending it to the server and the second thing which we will learning is to how to upload our code sorry how to <laughs> upload our images in the uh, live server okay so here so in order to do that the first thing which we will be doing is to go to our control panel and then i will be visiting the inc folder and here is our products dash body and in this section okay so in this section we have the product description and the apostopy is being sent through this variable so we will be binding this variable with the help of add slashes at s a d d s l a s h e s h slashes and then we will bind it with the help of a bracket and let us close this sorry let us save this file and now let us uh, we already have this apostopy and let me also give one more apostopy here and let me submit it now i can see the uh, form has got submitted and if i just go to this browse function and now i can see that lorem ipsum uh, is simply the task. all the information has now been submitted with the help of this form okay so the first part which we have already completed now comes the second part that is how to upload the images with this uh, form with the help of this form so in order to upload the images the first thing which we'll do which we'll be doing is to visit a website called academy.webotype.com and then we will be going to the block section now here we have the code for uploading php mysql image upload code and we will simply be copying this one this portion okay so we will be simply be copying this portion of the code and then we will go to our text editor and we will upload it here we will simply upload it here okay and uh, here it's written that allow array p jpg J, jpg in capital letter jpeg jpeg in capital letter gif png png pdf pdf we can upload all this type of files here so if files photo one so the first thing which we have to do is to rename the variable from photo one uh, let us rename it as photo one okay and then uh, here uh, photo one base name files photo one and then name then extension we will be checking the extension here if in any extension so if we if the user updates or uploads an extension which falls in this array then only the file will get uploaded and then we have to uh, decide the target path in this case we will be deciding the target path so since we are using the directory domains then this is public underscore html and slash inc so we will be simply creating one new folder called img or we can simply create one new folder called uploads okay let us save this file and we will be going in the main directory and here we will create one new uh, folder called uploads okay and i will be back to the code products dash body.php and now we'll be uploading all the images to this uploads directory and the next thing which we'll be doing is to encrypt the name of the file with the help of md5 because so if you submit an image and the name of the image is something like photo1.png and on the other hand if you submit the second image with the same name in that case the first image will get deleted and the second image will only be stored in your database or in your server so to avoid this type of mistakes or to avoid this type of file loss we will be encrypting all the uh, file names with the help of md5 encryption and we will also take the current time so that the md5 encryption the name of the file gets bigger or maybe a lengthy and then the target path will get uploaded to the targeted target path and we now have to uh, take the column name of this image and here it is pro image one dot sorry pro underscore image and mm -mm, and we have to paste it here and the last thing which we have to do is to copy this code okay we just have to paste it here sql since we have named this variable as sql okay we can also rename it in some other way but for the time being we will only be uh, using the same code and let us save this file and we have to do one more thing in this uh, form which is so in this form we have simply used a form method equal to post now here we have to use the encryption type multi-part form data why because now we will also be uploading 
uh, now we will also be uploading images or maybe videos so we have to write it as multi part from that in this way and let us go to the control panel we are all done okay so let us try uploading the photo so we have already done the uh, photo number one and here let me copy or upload this image and I will click on update product button now I can see the form is not getting executed again so what's the mistake which I have done here uh, okay so the first thing which we have done here we have uh, we have taken several SQLs so instead of SQL let us uh, write photo underscore one and uh, even here we will be writing as photo underscore one okay let us do it and the directory we will also be uh, uh, renaming the directory because I just noticed that we are accessing the page with index.php and our index.php file is present in this main uh, inside the public inside the root folder so let us uh, upload it as uh, let us use it as slash uploads and we will go to products body once again let us say if we have to do anything more we have uh, written it as uploads uploads the name of the folder is uploads and uh, now we will be upload we will try to upload the page once again and let us click on the reload button and here if i just choose the image update product let us see what happens i am not sure what is going on here and if i just reload the page and choose this image upload product now you can see the form is getting executed okay so if i just go to browse and if i check here i can see that 91 25 something like this and if i just go to the uh, upload folder if i just go to the uploads folder let us check now here i can see that d4 is something like this but this is not the thing which should get uploaded this is not the thing which should get uploaded and we have to go to the uploads folder once again sorry we have to go to this coach once again and which is products body let us uh, re remove the forward slash the front for forward slash and save the file and now i will go to the uploads folder once again and let us upload once one more file here and upload product and uh, reload this thing and the name of the file which is uh, uploaded here is cd122 something like that and if i just reload this page i can even see it is cd122d05 something like this so we will be doing one more thing the last thing is to upload all the files upload all the images we'll go to inc folder and then here we can see the products body.php file and let us uh, use some more variables here product 2 and product 3 since there are three images and we will be if uh, photo if photo 1 let us copy it and paste it here and paste it here so i will be using photo one instead of photo one instead of photo one now i will write here as photo two photo two and photo two photo two and the name of the column is also photo two so we just have to take care of it as well and the last thing photo two now for the third image we will use it as photo 3 photo 3 and photo 3 and photo 3 photo 3 photo 3 and here we have to write is write it as photo 3 the name of the column is pro image 3 and the super last thing that we have to do is to remove this uh, thing we are all done and now i will choose three different images this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one and let us update the product and the form got submitted here i can see the three of the uh, files have been submitted with the help of this form 
and now if I just close this file and go to public underscore HTML and click on uploads now I can see the first file is uh, let me go to the database the first uh, file starts something with a then if I again go to the database the second file starts with 97 and if I just copy the image tree and if I use control F all the three images have been submitted with the help of this form so in the next video what we will be doing uh, whatever data we uh, we make the changes uh, or whatever information we upload with the help of this HTML form and get submitted in the database it will be popped out here in this form okay so thank you for watching this video subscribe if you want to receive our notifications sometime thank you